Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. My oh my, what a week we are having here uh, for this incredible Club Inspire members event. It means there's going to be a free gift for you every single day. And today's is an awesome stamp set, which I know you're gonna love, called All About You. All you need to do is spend over 10 pounds or $10 uh, and you will receive that free gift, which is absolutely awesome. This is launch day, which means we are launching something that you will not have seen before here on Crafters TV, which is fantastic. Don't forget about the double points and all of the amazing three for twos, which you'll find over on the website. Uh, now, I am not here on my own. When it comes to cute characters, they get no cuter than the hottie Scotty. How are you, Craig? Oh, are you eat charmer, yeah? Are you eat charmer, yeah? Oh my gosh, I am buzzing about this one. I'm going to show you some finished samples. However, for me personally, I don't think I've seen a launch date with this most incredible uh, value that you've got. It's really, really good value that you're going to be seeing within this one here. What I'm doing, as you can see, that this is the sort of thing that you can be creating. Now, they do fall flat, but what you're getting is the dimension. Now Amazing. think of your theater cards, your tunnel cards. So we've got three options all in the same set for you. So this one I'm showing is box filled with glitter. Then this one here, this is the birthday bears box. So all run along the same idea, all folding flat. But what you can then do is then start to incorporate more layers if you want. You can go deeper if you want. Still using the teddy bears here. Now, one of the reasons that we've been managed to drive that price all the way down is to create the actual box. It's really quite simple. Now, you can do what I do and cut straight from your cardstock. Or what you can then do is use the little bit of the guide that you get that I'll quickly show you in a second. This one now is the wonderful woodland box. But don't just think of using them in that way. What about this way here? You can absolutely nice. use them in those ways. So very, very quickly, Joe, you get the main stamp and dies, but the actual template of the box comes within the instruction sheets. So what you can then do is you can then either stencil around it, draw around it, photocopy it if you want. I have written the measurements on it for my own sake because I've just been cutting it straight from cardstock. We'll go over it throughout the show. I'll put them on my social media as well. Honestly, super, super simple. I done a Facebook Live last night going through them in a lot of detail. You guys absolutely loved them. But you were even thinking of your pop-out box, your penny slider, twisted characters, all those different ways that you could be using them in conjunction. Fantastic. It's very, very busy already. Lots of you uh, went for these before the brand new launch for a brand new concept that's going to give you loads of craftability for £20 or $28 for Club Inspire Platinum members. And you're going to get that free gift and you're going to get the double points as well. They are amazing. Loads of you loving these. I know some of you already own these. I'd love to hear what you think about them. Uh, Alison saying good morning from Brooklyn. I'll be listening to, maybe not able to comment, I went to say hello and wish Craig a very happy early birthday and hope he has a great vacation. That is very lovely. Yes, Thank of you, you Alison. Uh, right, first up, uh, we're going to go through exactly what it is that you are getting, including. Uh, so, what you've got here, firstly, are these beautiful, this beautiful woodland scene. So it's your wonderful woodland box, which is fantastic. Uh, so you're going to get that in there. You've got the little bunny in here. You've got the deer, the squirrel, the toadstool, the trees. It's all in there for you. Yes, you're going to be able to use them in this concept, along with the aperture die, which you're going to cut into your box. You will be able to use these away away from your uh, project as well. This one here is, um, you've also got embellishments in here as well, which are of course your balloons and your presents. You do get the set just here, which is, this is so me, this one, it really is. It's a box filled with glitter, which is fantastic. Who doesn't want a box filled with glitter? You've got that gorgeous unicorn in there, the fairy with butterflies, it's and of course yes you do get schmetterlings in there of course in there then is the quick dry ink pad which is your smoke plume which is coming in here which is going to be fantastic for allowing you to stamp these out. we are going to quickly talk to you about 
a hot product. It is, of course, our tri-blend brush markers. Now, these are meant to be featured throughout the rest of the weekend here on Crafters TV. However, it's so incredibly busy. You've got that amazing soft brush nib in here. It is tri-blend, so it's everything you know about the original tri-blends, but with that brush nib, which makes them, in my opinion, even more versatile. What you'll also get included are all the colors you've got. So it's 24 pieces. They offer you uh, 72 colors within that collection too. This is the deepest discount we've ever done on these. We do go big when it comes to the members event, 44.79 or 67.17 for Club Inspire Platinum members across in the US. Now, lots of you commenting away, lots of you chatting, any questions, get them into me. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you're across on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, get your questions in. But Craig, I know you've got loads planned, haven't you, for this couple of hours? I really do. Lots of different ways you can use them as well. But the first demo, what we're going to be doing is use them how they're intended. Now, this is the stamp and die set that you get. So each of the three sets, you get a different aperture die. But you can use them in conjunction with each other, mixing and matching if you want. You've got the aperture stamping and colouring. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the templates here. Now price right down because we are giving you the instructions to create this really, really simple box for it. What I will say is they all each come in with their own little booklet as well, step by step. And you also get a template in each set, Joe. So if you maybe want to laminate it, if you maybe want to cut one up, then you can do that because you've got spares. But what I've done, to make it easier for me, I like to cut it straight from our cardstock using our guillotine. So I've measured it up, so for my sake, for your sake, and I'll pop it on my social media after. What I need to create the cute character box, the template, I need two that looks like this. So for the main construction, most of them I use my white smooth stamping card. So I need two bits that are six and a quarter inches by four inches. So there's my two bits here. And then what we'll do in a moment is we'll score in at the four inch line and then we'll score in at the six inch line. So that's that one. And then to make the door and also the little strands that we can see here, the dividers. Now you get two here that you can copy. Now you might want to put one in. Some of the samples we've got three in. What I've not done is you'll see this one has got a curve. I don't really want a curve with mine. So you've got that option. Follow it as exact, or if you want them to be straight like me, you can do. But for the door, we need a piece of cardstock that's four and three quarter inches by four inches. We've got here, and then what we'll do is we'll come along and then we'll score at one, uh, sorry, at four and a quarter. And then here we go, we've got the little dividers here. I've pretty much made my own ones up here, Joe, when it comes to width-wise. Okay. The main thing is, width-wise, they are five inches in length, because we're going to score at half an inch at each side, and then that's going to enable you to pop it in the middle of your box. So instead of two, I've gone for three of them. So this one, width-wise, is three quarters of an inch. This one is an inch. And this one here, I've gone for an inch and a quarter. So they were even getting that dimensional depth. And I guess it's something you can really play around with. Of course and you get can. a really different effect as you put these together. Absolutely. I would say the door in the box, if you want to obviously do the box exactly as it is intended, follow these measurements here. But for the dividers, as long as it's five inches to fit in the box, you can make them as wide, as tall, as thick as you want. It's up to you. So what we can do now is if we take these two bits for the box, I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. So we're going to score both of them exactly the same. So we're coming in here and I'm going to score at four inches and then I'm going to score at six inches. That then gives us our left side panel or right side, depending on which way you assemble it. And it also gives us our little adhesive tab here. We're going to do exactly the same on this one. So we're going to score at four inches, score at three inches. So then this, when back side by side, will then create the box. What we need to do as well is do the door. So let's bring in our door panel that we've got here. And then what I need to do here was I need to score at four inches. So if I score at four, then what we can then do, so once we fold that one over, that creates the little hinge for our door. Excellent. So that's that one. And then last but not least for our scoring, let's take our little dividers and each of them we're going to score at half an inch in. 
I find it easier just to flip it over at each side and score it half an inch. That gives us our tab. That then gives us our four inches in the middle, which is then going to fit within the box to create the scene. Fantastic. Uh, quite simple then to do this element really, Craig. They are. They really are simple. Once you do the first one, you get your head round the measurements and saying that they are so, so easy. Then that is now you on the journey, on the road to start getting creative, start to decorate the boxes in whichever way that you want. I'm going to use the staycation paper pad to decorate it, but you can be using whichever ones you do wish. Let's just do it. Didn't quite do half the inch there. And I guess, Craig, as well, I mean, you've got the aperture or the window for each theme included, but you've got to be able to freestyle it. I'd imagine you've got some of our uh, fancy nesting dies, those kind of things. It would be a great way to utilise those. Amazing idea, yeah. So either bring any of them in to your box here to create different looks or bring in things of your characters, maybe your woodland, nature garden, maybe your penny slider. Start to bring them in as well. Maybe even your floral bouquet and create mm. kind of like a garden backdrop of florals. Nice. That yeah. would work really well. What we need to do next is we need to come along and we need to join each of these bits to the tab. So once I join that one onto there and then join this one here, can you see this is where the box comes? However, what I need to do first of all is I need to come along and in one of these panels, I'm going to bring in my patterned paper first of all because what we're going to do is we're going to come along and we're going to die cut our aperture. So I've got our staycation 12 by 12 paper pad. I've gone for the design that's got the grass on the front. I'm not doing any matting layering. I've trimmed it just under the four by four inch mark. I'm going to come in with my aperture die and then what we can do with this one, you can do it either way that you want. I'm going to do it this way and I'm going to pop my tape into place. And nothing to stop you playing around with the measurements of this box, I'd imagine, Craig. You want to make it taller, you want to make it slightly wider. Obviously, you would therefore just need to obviously play around with the different measurements and elements, but something that you can explore, I'd imagine. That's it, yeah. For instance, say you wanted to make uh, a box that's two inches bigger than the one in here. The measurements I've given you, every measurement that I've given you, you're going to add two inches onto that. Okay. Making sure you add two inches on each one. If, you know, you maybe want to do it four inches bigger, add four inches onto each of the measurements I've given you. And that's a really easy way to then make them bigger. But yeah, you can then really have fun. You might want to do rectangle ones. You might want to get really creative in the shapes that you do. But we can then take this one off, slowly taking it off. And then there is what will be the front component of our box. So what we can do now is we can take our other couple. I'm going to use red liner tape for this, Joe. You can use your tacky glue instead if you want to. But either tacky or red liner, they're the ones I would recommend for this. Because it's a concept and lots of people are going to be handling it. They're going to be looking at it because you've got that fun aspect to it. So you want to make sure it's nicely secure. So let's take, before I actually do that, I like to cut just the corners off side by side. And then that's going to give you that professional edge when you join them together. Taking the backing off. And at this point, this is exactly the same. Oh, I've taken the fill tape off there. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do tape. that. It's not going to stick if we do that. I want it to stick. Here we go. Let's take that one in. So peel in the back off. So this is where we would then start to assemble it as if we would any normal box. So we're layering side by side. We're going to press and then we can fold this one over. So fold in the tab over, fold in these bits. I like to do it kind of like in midair or you can fold it flat, whatever is easiest for you match up to the tab and then here we can see the start of our scene coming together. Before I go any further, what I'm going to do is I've got a layer also from the staycation and I have backed it onto a little bit of lilac cardstock. It's just a texture cardstock that we've got within our range and what we've done is by slotting it, let's pick that one up, 
slotting it into the back. If you wanted to do this bit before you assemble it, then of course you can do it. And imagine well. the variation on this, the amount of different, you know, the amount of um, pattern papers that you have. I know, Think yeah. about playing with around about all the different textures that you might have. I can imagine fabulous strips of glitter card in the back of there, Craig. It's a really awesome size, isn't it? But also it gives you a lot of scope to bring in so many other things that you already have. Yeah, yeah, there's so much. And as you said there, with the size, Joe, it's it's a nice dinky size, it's not overly big, however, this might sound daft, but it really is craftable. To get that kind of impact of the, the, um, the image, of the theatre card, the aspect, the dimension, but it's not complicated to achieve because we've reduced the size as to maybe what you would be familiar with within past ranges such as pop-out boxes or obviously, you know, spinner cards, anything like that. It's a lot smaller and it folds flat and it's very achievable if you're a relatively new crafter. And this is what I love about it. Mm, absolutely, very, very busy on these already. I think they're so, I think it's probably the most affordable launch that I can remember I think doing, so. Craig. And to, for something, considering it's something that's giving you a completely new concept as well, I think it is amazing. You guys are loving it. It's a perfect excuse to get out all of your colouring mediums as well and really start to think about how you're going to colour these up, personalising these as well. Uh, of course, there's a whole host of different ways in which you guys are going to be able to do that. I think it's a really, really exciting launch. Uh, a lot of you as well, I know, maybe already have these and own these. We'll have recently got them when they featured on HSN. If you are one of those people, please send us in some pictures of what you've been doing. We'd love to see them. Studio at Crafters. Uh, sorry, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send all of those into. So this is me now, constructed all of the box. So I've done my decoration in the back, I've done my outline, and I've done the door. At this point here, I'm not concerned about seeing the hinge of the door because I'm going to cover it up in a moment, Joe. What I could do is explain later on how there is a way how you can discreetly hide it if you were wanting to keep this plain white. But what we can do just now is let's bring in our little dividers. I've already, still from staycation, taken some of this pattern paper and I've cut it to the same size as the centre part here. So four inches by, this was three quarter of an inch, that was an inch and that was an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to layer these ones up using my tape runner for this one. Then we can pop them into place. Then we can get on to the stamping and die cutting. And then, of course, the colouring as well. Excellent. Remember what you're getting as well for that price. You are getting all three of these collections and you're getting that quick dry ink pad in there as well, uh, which is going to enable you to stamp these out beautifully. I'm really excited to see the things that you uh, do with these. Don't forget as well, uh, you're also, I can't believe I'm quite saying this, you're also going to get today's free gift included in there as well. Uh, you might, I, bet, I wonder if you might be able to combine the two actually, Craig, this free gift uh, and these boxes, you know, by decorating the outside. Uh, of your box yeah. using this. I think it's brilliant that you've got uh, that you sentiment and then all the different ways you can put that together. Uh, all you need to do is have £10 or $10 worth of products in your car after your discount comes off and you will receive this, which is awesome. Uh, £20 or $28 is a brilliant, brilliant price for any new launch, especially something as spectacular as this. Yeah, there'd be uh, ways that you'd be able to use the free gift, like that big sentiment that says you on it that could be on the front and then some of the smaller sentiments that work in conjunction with it that could go on the inside if you wanted to nothing stopping you from having the stamp of you right in the background and layer up some sentiment so it really is a usable free gift within the set so what i'm doing now is let's go in with our tabs so we can then pop these ones in to here once again, using my red liner tape for these ones because I want to keep them really strong and robust. So let's go into these bits. But even the panels themselves, I'm using our white smooth stamping card for the panels and for the outer box. But you could be using your Centura Peril, your texture card, anything like that. So maybe you don't want to keep it white. Maybe you don't want to go down the road of pattern paper, but you do want colour, then use your colour blocks. That would work an absolute treat. But what I can do is I'm going to take the smallest one first. So there is the smallest one. 
let's take what will be the medium one and then we can take what will be the tallest one and if you want to assemble these or start to assemble them before you construct it you can personal preference I like to construct my projects before I go on to actually um, decorate them so what I like to do I'm going to go in with the smallest one first so I'm going to go in from up above and this is going to come towards the front of our box here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this one in here so if we come in and I'm going to fit this little lever in there and I'm going to pop this one to the other side so making sure I've kind of got a guide so I know where I'm going so there's our first one in so if I tip it forward we can see our first divider there then what I'm going to do is going to go in with my medium one and I'm going to do exactly the same but I'm going to come a little bit further back so we can then pop that one in there and then we can then come in and pop that one there I'm going to press so then there's our two so if I bring that one in we've got a close one we've got our medium one and then let's come in with this last one the taller one and the template does have two of them, but you can then get your creative flow on and add more if you want. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, loads of people coming in with different sort of questions and suggestions about how they're going to use these, how they're going to adapt them, Craig. I'll hang on to them for the time being until after this demonstration, and then I'll put them all uh, your way. But loads of people really excited about all the different things they're going to be able to create with this. That looks awesome coming along really well isn't it really well what this enables you to do as well is you don't have to be overly powerful with the amount of images that you're going to pop in you can do you can go to absolute town if you so wish but by decorating the box sometimes a uh, little is better but you know it's entirely up to yourself so all that I'm going to do Joe is I'm going to take some of these teddy bears let's do all three I'm going to stamp them out and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to colour in with my tri-blend brush markers. Awesome, very very busy on those, I mean the, the deal on those tri-blend brush pens is absolutely incredible. Um, there has been a 20% discount on the tri-blend brush pens in the past but never a 30% discount and that's what you've got uh, for this members event. We really do uh, pull out all the stops when it comes to the deals uh, that are available over this week. Remember it runs as well until uh, the end of Sunday which is fantastic so you've got a little a while yet uh, to take advantage of the great deals there is an amazing color me happy show coming up at 7 p.m in the uk here 2 p.m eastern time with myself and sarah who i have not worked for in a lot work with in absolutely ages and that is jam-packed as well full of amazing deals i will give you a heads up though the mystery bag in that later coloring show not sure that that's going to be there uh, when we get to the later show uh, yes yeah, so do um, make sure you join us for that it's very very exciting show it's our weekly destination colouring show which is fantastic it's going to be absolutely awesome that it's going to be a fab one isn't it it's going to be really good I've hardly seen Sarah a lot myself actually she's been really busy the last couple super, of weeks super super busy indeed super busy uh, lots of you, uh, Leanne saying I am buzzing, I've just placed an order for a ton of paper pads, a couple of these cute character boxes, the tri-blend brush pens, the Spectrum Noir glossy highlights, the foam pad collection and wow. the Spectrum Noir mystery bag. I cannot wait for the Odo man to deliver my goodies next week, just hope he turns up when my partner is at work. Be on maternity leave, <laughs> it has its benefits. <laughs> Absolutely, it does. Wow, that is going to be some fun crafting you're going to be having, that's for sure. I uh, just, a mm, little bit of concern, Craig. I, I, do you know, sir, I just concern. caught Georgina in my ear saying that as well. So is that about 70% gone now then, Georgina? 70% of that Spectrum Noir bag has gone uh, for that later Colour Me Happy show. If you want to get your hands on it, I would absolutely suggest you go and grab it now. The chances of it being there for the start of that 7pm that show, slim to none. I will show you uh, what is in it at the start of the show, uh, what you've all gone for. Uh, of course, as we always do, we reveal the mystery bags at the start of the hour. So if it does sell out, I will still go through it for you. Uh, but I don't think it's lurking very likely uh, that it is there at the moment. Uh, Shadai says, I am so mesmerised 
was looking and thinking, now I would put acetate and create an inside for a complete box for some chocolates. Love that idea. Jen saying thank you for the clear instructions, Craig. Lots of people tuning in from all over. Kathy Myers says morning from a hot Illinois. Kay is in California where it's going to be 111 degrees wow. Fahrenheit, Craig. That is seriously hot. You'll be able to fry an egg on your car bonnet. Is it 50 degrees? In my head it was about 44, I don't know why. It's very, it's hot very anyway, hot. Yeah. Uh, Jutta is saying hi from a very sunny and hot Germany. I, uh, for some friends of mine uh, live in Berlin and I saw their Instagram yesterday and it was 40 plus degrees really? Celsius yesterday in Berlin. Yes, very, very hot in Germany. It's 44, 111. How did I guess that? How? I have no idea. That was a very good guess. Uh, Mary Rounds says, morning Craig, Joe and all the crew as well oh. as uh, the Team Social uh, and everyone backstage. Uh, Four Holidays saying hi from Florida as well. Uh, Georgianne ordered these this morning. Merlin saying smashing shirt. Joe, thank you very much. It's not a particularly hot summery day here in the UK. It's very, very wet. Do you know what? it's going to rain for like 10 days, they're saying, Craig? Is it? I know. You're off to Scotland. I am. Uh, I'm heading down to uh, the Kent coast for a few days, doing a little road trip right by the seaside. I think we're going to have to take brollies and jackets, Craig, at this rate. I think we're going to have to. Although, you know, Scotland, I'm used to rain. I mean, it's a typical, typical British summer, really, isn't it? it is. We have had some lovely weather, though, to be fair. Exactly. Uh, Patty says, going to be watching whilst packing up. Heading to the beach. Going to be 75 at the ocean. I'll be watching later from the beach. Oh, that sounds absolutely uh, delightful. Uh, Becky says, hi, Joe Craig and the team. Sent Craig a birthday card, a picture. Uh, so happy birthday, Craig. Mine is on the 19th. Enjoy your time off. A uh, happy uh, birthday for tomorrow, Becky. And yours is Monday, is it, Craig? It is. Both mine and Debbie Fisher, we're on Monday. Oh, birthday twins. I know, we are. How yeah, fantastic. celebration. Uh, so with these stamps in, Craig, can we use pretty much any of our colouring mediums with these ones? Any whatsoever. The only thing that you would do is change your medium of ink pad. So, of course, if you're using anything alcohol-based to colour, you're going to use your alcohol-proof ink pad. But if you're using anything water-based to colour, like your aqua sparkle pens, maybe your um, aqua tint pens, aqua ones, uh, then you're going to be using your waterproof ink pad for them. Awesome. Even your aqua pencils too. Absolutely. I love the uh, designs here. They are adorable, aren't they? they uh, are. And definitely something I think you're going to use away from this concept or oh, yeah. with this concept as well. You know, I mean, look, if we just bought the stamps and dies on for you, I think at this price, Craig, they would uh, you'd absolutely love them. Uh, and of course, maybe once you've used this particular or, or utilized, mastered, I should say, uh, the concept of making these boxes, as you said earlier, Craig, bring all your other stamps and dies into here as well. I can see these playing so nicely with so many of our other collections uh, that we currently have uh, as well uh, that we carry at the moment uh, don't forget as well about all of the amazing three for twos that are happening over on the website for our members event uh, and also uh, so it if you're not a Club Inspire Platinum member, you can still take advantage of all three for twos. But if you're not a Club Inspire Platinum member, then why on earth are you not a Club Inspire Platinum? Because it's a great place uh, to be. It's totally free to join, and it means that you unlock all of those amazing deeper discounts. Uh, and as you can see, the benefit of that, Platinum members only paying £20 or $28 for this particular collection, which is amazing, not your socks off value. Oh, it's never Kate been Craig. the best time of shop, is there? Sorry, Joe, what were you about to say? I said cake. Cake. Oh, love cake. Oh, I've had a message from the lovely Jan in Ravello. I haven't oh. heard from in ages. Jan, I hope you're doing well. She says, hi, Joe and Craig. Been busy recently, so I haven't seen any shows for a few weeks. And guess what? Uh, I am back. I am tempted to buy a few things today from a very sunny and hot Ravello. It was this time last year, actually, Craig, where... Uh, I went to, uh, would it be next week? I think it's, it's around the time of year when I actually went to Ravello on my little scooter when I was in Italy yeah. and, uh, had, and had a little, uh, I had a coffee, Jan had a Prosecco. Oh, the hilarious oh, yeah. thing, the hilarious thing was it was Jan's anniversary of all days. She spent it with me in the square having a little drink. <laughs> Uh, no, oh, it'd be lovely to get away for a little Italian adventure this year. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're really well, Jan. Um, yeah, nice little breakaway. Eh? Mm. Where is it, Eurowater? Sorry? Where is it, Eurowater? It was, uh, I was in Naples, Naples for a few days. Yeah, I drove my scooter along the coast, and Jan lives in this beautiful little uh, town uh, along the Amalfi Coast. Absolutely stunning. Like, picture perfect. 
I, I remember seeing uh, some of your pictures, Joe. That mm. was stunning, absolutely stunning. I didn't post too many, Craig, because I'd had a bit of an allergic reaction caused by my motorbike helmet, and I was very spotty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of filters on those pictures. Did you tell me? Have you told me that? No, I don't no. think so. I don't think I've told so anyone. That. Say it's news to me. <laughs> yeah. I really suffer in the summer if I put things like sun cream on my head, Craig. Right. Yeah, I don't know why. I just yeah. Uh, yeah, have a bit of reaction. Anyway, enough about my uh, skin conditions. <laughs> Well, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself here, listening to that while colouring away here, colouring in the teddy bears, moving on to what is the tablecloth of uh, sitting with the cake over the top. So I'll do just a very tiny little bit more colouring and then we'll start to assemble this one here. But let's colour it in. Ringing it. Let's do a couple of the balloons as well. Actually, let's do the balloons as well. In case anyone wants to know, that was the tan, tan blend that I've used and also green turquoise blend. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, let's do this balloon here, and then we will start to do die cut and, and assemble what we've got. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, love these. Remember, you're getting all three designs in here as well. So you've got that woodland scene, you've got the unicorn uh, in here, and also you are, of course, getting the cute bears that you can see just there. They are available individually. Pretty much everyone, though, going for that big collection, as I knew you would, uh, because it is such an incredible uh, value. Uh, essentially, uh, well, you're not even paying for uh, the three stamps and die sets, and you're getting the ink pad included in there free of charge as well, which is brilliant. What would we use the ink pad for, Could We use that more for stamping our sentiments up on something like this. I, I, uh, ideally, that's what I would do it for. Yeah. You know, I would do it maybe if you are, for whatever reasons, going with more of a monochromatic tone or that, would be a good one to use. But for uh, the sentiments, that's what I would use the ink pad for. Um, you're going to get your nice, crisp, clean sentiment with that one and then I would come in with uh, most of the the time the samples I've been doing I've been using my alcohol pens to color so therefore I'm using my alcohol proof ink pad but yeah use use your quick dry the chances are Joe if you've already got the quick dry collection at home like I have it's going to be a nice little spare for you if mm. you do happen to have it you can't go wrong with a spare one have it within your stash and you'll be good to go but let's colour in this last balloon and then we'll start to die cut the rest out. So I'm going to go in, go in with the deep blue there, and then I'm going to blend that out. Just I guess you're base. going to be able to really change this as well, depending on what colours you're using, things like the cake, the tablecloth, the balloons, they're all interchangeable. Uh, even maybe... Um, you know, like masking off elements as well with some of your masking fluid, you know, creating lots of different effects doing that. Uh, and also, I love the concept, Craig, of being able to layer it up. I know you've put two stays in yours, Craig. Would you be able to create a third? Oh, you've got three layers in yours, haven't I've you? I've got three, yeah. Okay, cool, because most of the ones I've got, most samples are using two, uh, but I guess you could use as many as you wanted, really. I mean, could you even put more in if you kept the um, tabs a little bit smaller? Yeah, you could do, yeah. So what I would do, where you score the tabs at half an inch, really, you don't need that full half an inch, even if you'd done it to a quarter of an inch, and then that would make the little fold-back tab slightly smaller. That would enable you to get some more of the dividers in, so you can really... Uh, start to add that layer in with the dividers inside your little box. So it's, it's all about having a little bit of a play about, see what you can come up with, what you can get creative with. You love that shadow technique, don't you? I love it. it. Makes a huge, huge difference. And with this one, what will happen is when I come and do the die cutting, you will get that, uh, you will get that white shadow, of course. It's going to then be changing as grey but we then add to more of that shadow that's all the way around. This is ice grey too that I'm using, and it will get lightly lighter as the alcohol evaporates. But if we go in here, I missed a paw there, but we'll keep going. Work our way around, going around the full of the image. So I'm going around Should the has uh, just had a, a fantastic suggestion, Craig. She oh, said, really? those balloons are crying out for some glossy highlights, Craig. Maybe. 
Oh, a really there was a idea. glint in his eye there, uh, Shadaya. They uh, will be coming up. The glossy uh, highlights, if you didn't see them in the earlier wake up call, they will be uh, coming up with myself and Sarah in that 7 pm. Uh, Colour Me Happy show, and you're gonna absolutely blooming love them. They're, they are fantastic, Craig, aren't they? They are amazing, absolutely amazing. All of you that have seen Wake Up Call, you completely agree with how much we love the glossy highlights. And uh, I was reading in between the shows a few comments from people during Wake Up Call, and some of you have actually ordered uh, a couple of them, mm. which is really is a wise move. Because I, 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 I think they're going to be quite quick, really good seller. Well, they have been already today, mm. but I think they'll continue to be as time goes on. So. Oh, absolutely. I know we've got deep stocks to them, but I, I can't imagine them not selling out over the next few days. Uh, such was the interest in them this morning. Uh, Alison's just letting you know it's beautiful in Scotland at the moment, Craig. The sun is shining. Don't take the rain with you is what I think she's implying. I, it's basically implying that. You know what will happen? It'll start raining from Sunday when I get home and I'll start to get the blame. You will. I know that'll happen. I'll be getting told to go back home. Where is home now? You, That's an interesting you've point. You've just taken the words right so out I of my mouth. I said, well, interesting that you've called, not home home isn't home. I, yeah. I think Manchester is home for me now. I've not really lived there all that long, but that's home for me. Yeah, I, I do. I used to say I um, go uh, home as in, I, I would always class Scotland as home. And then if I was going, to my house in Durham, yeah. I would say I'm going home. Home is in Durham. That's what I used to say. But now, if I say I'm going home, that means I'm going to my house in Durham. Right, okay. And if I'm going to Scotland, I'll say I'm going home to Scotland. Home to Scotland. Home right. to Scotland. Home and home home, some people call it, don't they? Because it's, it's still, it's home to me. Always will be my home to me. So uh, it still, it still deserves the title of home. So yeah. Say it, I'm going home to Scotland. Layering up these. These are being layered up in the same way that you would layer up any of your stamp and dies at home. So what I'm doing is popping that one on and then I'm going to bring in my junior plates. These would all, each in individually, these would all go through your Gemini Mini and your Gemini Go. If you do it on a sheet like I'm doing, then they'll go through your Junior. And do you know what? If you want to real, really do a load of stamping and colouring on a large sheet of cardstock, then run them through your large Gemini. But either way, you'd get... Perfect for your Mini, these, Craig, as well, yeah? Sorry? Going to go through the mini, all of these? Would the aperture go through the mini? Did you just say that? Yes. I was having a conversation with John about something else. <laughs> I was having a conversation with John about a marker wallet. I obviously wasn't, uh, I'm obviously not able to multitask. That's okay, that's okay. But yes, they would do, individually they will. Uh, will the aperture go through the mini? No. Okay. No. So the aperture, you'll need to use your midi or your junior, or of course larger. But what we can then start to do, now obviously, I'm at home, I'm going to spend a lot more time doing a lot more layers because you've still got uh, some presents, you've got a couple of presents here, I would maybe add a few more of the teddy bears, but what we can then do is I'm going to do, I'm roughly going to plan it to the side here, so I'm going to have the balloons towards the back, let's have the teddy bear with the cake, you know, a little bit further, but not far as back as the balloons. Then we can have the teddy, and then we can have the other one right to the front here with the balloon in hand. So I'm going to add my adhesive to the bottom of this balloon here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then pop it in towards the back. So we can see I'm popping it towards this base panel. I'm going to pop my fingers in, and I'm going to press this one. Now it's entirely up to you if you want to assemble these onto these strips before you assemble the box. I prefer to assemble the full box first, then I can visually see where I'm popping each of the individual elements. I had a very interesting question in from Aisha. What's uh, that? She's wondering, Craig, this, and I bet this will be something maybe a lot of our American viewers don't quite realise. Uh, wondering, are you a dual citizen of Scotland and the UK, Craig? So that's interesting. So the UK is one country. Yeah. So the United Kingdom, which is uh, Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland, and England, I almost forgot my own one there, they are four nations that make up one country. Uh -huh. So you are a British or United Kingdom citizen, but you'd be from Scotland. So me and Craig have exactly the same passport, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, there you are. 
It's an explanation. Ah. I know, it's weird though, because we don't even give that a second no, thought, we do we? No, we don't. We don't give that a second thought whatsoever. Uh, Karen Albright saying how much she loves using that grey shadow, really gives it more of a finished look. Dee was saying, if you were to put glossy highlights on something like the balloons, would it make them fall over, Craig? Uh, no. So it's not that heavy? No, no. The thing is, you're going to be colouring onto your Nina cardstock, or maybe even potentially your white smooth stamping card. So you've still got strong, good quality cardstock there. So that's going to be uh, really sturdy enough to hold it all into place, even when the glossy accents are on. So what we can do here is, now that I've layered these few into place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along and instead of wasting the aperture, if I can carefully take my tape off, I'm going to peel that one off there, and then I'm going to peel this one off here carefully. He says... I think I've stuck both layers down. Yep, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do is let's go in with our tape runner. I'm going to come back. Now I'm going to pop that one there. So if I position that one in there, press it into place. This is one of the sentiments that come included. So I'm going to add foam pad from the foam pad bundle that we've got. I'm saying we've got, I think we've still got it anyway. The foam pad bundle. So adding them on. So I'm going to go, no one deserves a happier birthday than you. Are you going to make yourself a birthday card, Craig? Uh, might give myself this card. Ah, oh, there you go. From me to me. Yeah, from me to, yeah, from me to me. To you, to me. To, to you, me, to, to me. You. Oh, I love the Chuckle Brothers. And the Chuckle Brothers, if anyone doesn't know, is a, what is it, kids TV programme, wasn't Slapstick it? Slapstick uh, comedy, isn't slapstick it? Slapstick comedy, and they got themselves in all sorts of boroughs. Very, very funny. There we go. Folds relatively flat, give or take a few millimetres. Stamped our sentiment. Yay, it's party time. Open up the door. If you want to decorate the inside, then you can do. The only bit I've not done, I'm not going to do it now, but you could then also decorate the side panels there and there. But I've layered up the teddy bears. I can go to tie. I can add more into the back if I want. I could have a few more teddies side by side. But this is how it would look from up above. But then if I tilt it forward, this is where you've got the depth of the teddy bears from one right to the front, going to the middle, going to the back, including the balloons as well. So really, really fun little box card that you can make as well. Lots of different ways that you can start to incorporate and use that as well. Love that. Love, love, love this launch. Right, let me just uh, take you uh, back through exactly what you are getting to uh, included in here with this one. So remember what you are going to get. This one here is your box filled with glitter and you've got all of those amazing characters in there. You've got the unicorn, you've got the toadstool, the fairies, the butterflies. Uh, you've also got as well in there uh, all of those sentiments uh, that you need as well, which is fantastic. <laughs> I didn't realise you could see me giving John a thumbs up there. John just came into the studio and did this, really. I'm going to, for clarity, John just came into the studio and went, and I'm stood here with the boards like this going through, and I went, yeah, that'd be great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to get that one. Uh, you're also going to get this gorgeous wooded one, uh, woodland one here with the bunny and the deers in there and the trees too. It's no, there's no, the, no four, four floors been destroyed, isn't it, here at Crafts TV, Craig? Uh, and there is no fourth wall. And you've got uh, the bears in there too. Remember what you're also getting in there, which is, of course, that awesome ink pad. You will receive the quick dry uh, smoke plume ink pad, which is brilliant. So do go for that. Now, something else which will be perfect perfect for colouring these but also perfect for a whole host of other things too you know they really do encompass all of your different colouring styles that you want to achieve from portraits to landscapes to characters because of course you've got a full colour spectrum within here it's our tri-blend brush pen so they are the same proprietary ink for formulation as our incredible tri-blend markers but now just in that uh, brush nib format. It's got that lovely, soft, flexible nib on there. You get 24 pieces here with these. The discount on them is 
incredible. It is the best deal there has ever been on these. These are the colors that you are getting. And as I said earlier, it is a complete plethora uh, of different colors in there for you. You've got your purples, your pinks, through to your browns, your grays, uh, your reds, your greens, your blues. You've got a really good spectrum. 44.79 or 67.17, you won't have seen uh, a, better, a better club member's price to get your hands on them. It's absolutely incredible value. Now, we also have on the show for you, which I want to share with you, the 3D foam pad collection. Now, this is awesome. So what you're going to receive in here, you're going to get a large pack of your foam pads, uh, which I know Craig absolutely adores. You also get the small ones as well. Great for those more intricate elements that you want to create uh, dimension on. And you're going to get foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Uh, that is in there too. 14, 28, 23, 90. Platinum price there, as you can see on your uh, screen. Now, I've got two different 12 by 12 cardstock bundles for you on the show. Let's go with this one first. So this is your everyday brights that you've got in here. Now, the great thing about getting these in this configuration is that you've got a great saving. It's better than three for two. Uh, so do grab this. So you've got your brights in here. You've got your pastels. Hang on, what was that one? You've got your everyday brights. Then you've got your pastels in here as well. All double-sided. This one's got a bit of texture to it as well, which is lovely. And then you've also got your regular brights in there as well. If you maybe are looking to build your collection, this would be a great way uh, to use this as an amazing, uh, an amazing stash builder. So you've got those three there, uh, firstly. Come on, John, bring it, bring it in. Can I just pop it on there for me? Thanks, there he is. The man, the legend. Uh, what we've also got, uh, as oh, the comments are going to explode now, as they always do. Uh, what we've also then got, of course, is the farmhouse collection here for you too. So this is a different one. Now, this is the one, Georgina, is it? We're a bit worried about the stock here. It is actually limited stock now, this one. Very, very low in stock. Uh, thing is, when it goes out of stock, you'll be able to come back and buy this one here and this one, which is your uh, Woodland Friends but you'd pay more for these two than you will for all three when you get them in this bundle. So absolutely grab them now. It's the sunflower tones that's very low in stock. Almost matches my shirt, that one, doesn't it? Uh, you've got these in here too. They're all textured, those, which is fantastic. 102 sheets in there. 3120 or 3920 for Club Inspire Platinum members. So absolutely do make sure you snap those up. Right, we've also got some adhesives on the show for you. This bundle just here, which is your adhesive collection with the 3D uh, glue gel, the all-purpose glue, and you'll get the tape pen in there as well. We then have the uh, Nina Classic cardstock for you. This is brilliant for all of your alcohol marker colouring. Uh, perfect for that. Slightly better than a three for two there on you. 48 sheets in total there within that collection. Now, oh my word, the junior, right? If you are a Platinum member, honestly, this is uh, one of our Members Week deals because if you are a Platinum member, look, £111 or $159. Or $159. Now you're actually getting £100 worth of free product included in there. Essentially, you pay £11.99 for the Gemini Junior, which is an amazing deal because the Gemini Junior on its own should be £139 in the UK, £199.95 in the US. That's the price that you can see there on your screen. The Gemini is an incredible uh, machine. Uh, and also what I'm gonna do with you, I'm gonna give you an option to, uh, um, an opportunity to check out your basket. So why should you do that? Why don't we show you all the incredible features of the Gemini Junior?
It is an absolutely incredible machine. It's going to be great for a whole host of die cutting. I know the Junior's your favourite. What is it about the Junior that you really love, Greg? Because you will use the Junior at all opportunities, won't you? I will do. Yeah, purely down to the size of it. You know, majority of the die cutting that I do or embossing, my dies are going to go through there. So therefore, because it's a smaller footprint, most of the things that I'm doing are going to go by, uh, by uh, through the Gemini Junior, so to speak. Uh, I just love having it. It's always at my side, always on the right-hand side of my desk at home. I just, I, I just love it. I love it full stop with everything it can do. Even although it's smaller than the original Gemini, still does exactly the same, still the same power, still the same pressure, still the incredible crafty work that you get out of it mm, absolutely it really is uh, an amazing piece of kit remember you're getting a hundred pounds uh, worth of freebies in there we're so getting over a hundred it's 116 pounds or 149 dollars worth of freebies included in there which is absolutely sensational value for money i think if you've been thinking about it for a while maybe you've got the big gemini you want to go for a second gemini uh, i know john uh john Craig uses both of them. We've got John on the brain. That's why in the comment, uh, Lily says, daily dose of John. I love it. Thank you. Uh, and Rachel has told me that the socials are very happy to see John, as they always are. Johnny's Angels, uh, as they have been renamed Craig. I mean, me and you literally chop liver now, aren't we, these days? Yeah. yeah, we really are. Still very busy on the incredible brand new launch that we're bringing today. The other thing I want to just tell you about before we whiz back to Craig for another demonstration is that mystery bag that is in the Colour Me Happy show later. I did kind of warn you this would happen, didn't I? It has gone limited stock. That means it will definitely not be here, uh, I don't think, for that later show. Uh, I will... I mean, if it sells out in... If it sells out, Georgina, in this show, will we show people what they got or will we wait for the later show? We'll, 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 Georgina's going to have a, Ina's going to have a little ponder uh, whilst we work that out. Uh, right, Craig, which one would you like to have a look at next? Right, so we're going to do box filled with glitter. And what we are going to do is we're going to do pretty much exactly that. So we're going to do a different take on it. So now that I've showed you the main concept and how it's, uh, the concept of it is uh, planned out to be, what we're going to do, let's bring in my card blank and let's bring in a few of my layers. So I've got my card blank here that is five by five. And then what I'm going to do is I brought some texture card in. This is uh, some of a bright pink, just shy of five by five. And then also, which funny enough, I've done these in separate days, but it is still the same paper pad, the um, staycation. We've gone for that ready pink sort of zigzag color there. So what we're going to do first and foremost is let's go into our box filled with glitter box and we're going to go in and we're going to bring in the aperture die. Now with this one here you can see it's a different shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it onto the front. Let's bring in our low tack tape and we're going to secure this one. So we're going to come in here and then secure that. And then what you'll find is usually when it comes to anything that's an aperture die, it's usually the aperture center piece that we want to keep. That's what's going to be our layer. But of course, when it comes to the cute character box, it's actually the frame that we are wanting. So therefore, any of the detail is actually on the outside of the die. So that means the actual frame has, in this case, the little pinpoint detail. Instead of it being around the die cut, it's now around the actual frame. So if I bring this one in here, there's load, uh, uh, well, it's really hard to see on this part and paper here, but real pinpoint detail in all of them. So what I can then do, so let's set that to the side for now. Uh, Penguins88888 says, no, uh, this, we, they, we have a lot of love to give. There's enough to go around, apparently, for all of us, Craig. Oh, yeah. Susie T says, uh, you're still our main man, Joe. What about poor Craig? And Ben. Susie T says that to everyone that's got it. Says, Susie T says that to, to all of us, no doubt. No, we are only joking. We do love it when John pops in, mostly because he makes great teas, Craig, isn't it? He what? He makes great cups of tea. Oh, teas. Yeah. Uh, he does. What did you think I said? I thought, I thought you said he makes great peas. Peas? No, I, I, thought, I, I didn't know. I didn't know he does. Know. Like, has an allotment or garden. <laughs> <laughs> no, teas. teas. Cups of tea. He, but he, well, he does. 
But if I want to be really pernickety, forgot the sugar in mine last night. Oh no, John! Yeah. Oh, someone tell him. I can, although I can drink it with no sugar. I think I, you're sweet enough, Greg. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm going to miss. We worked out that we're not going to work together again for quite a wee while, are we? We are not going to work together. Do you want to know when it is, Craig? I mean, oh no, 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 no. Well, no. I'm back on Tuesday the 29th. That's my first day back. Tuesday the 29th. We will not be working together until the 5th of July after today. And no today's way. date is the 18th of June. It's going to be the longest I think I've ever not seen you I for. I think so, yeah. I know. That's bonkers, isn't it? That is absolutely redonkulous, that. Redonkadonk. Redonkulous. I mean, three weeks. Three whole weeks. Three weeks. Gosh. I hope I'm not on the bed most of the time. I'll be pulling my hair out with all of his jokes oh. and impressions. I'm going to I'll message him and let me know you said that. I'll be phoning you up going, Joe, please come back. <laughs> uh, yes, I just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not well, Craig's off for a week. I'm not really going, I've got one day off, uh, I think on about the 28th or something like that, which means then I'm only working the weekend, that's why I'm not going to see Craig till the week after that. Yeah. Uh, Four Holidays says, Joe and Craig, you will always be our first loves. We really appreciate that. Um, very busy still on those tri-blend brush pens as well. Uh, do make sure if you want to get them. I think the plan is that we're going to feature those in the later Colour Me Happy show happening at 7pm tonight. I don't know if that will be the case uh, at the moment. It is very, very busy on those. It is very busy. So you may be seeing it up here then, Craig. The acetate you've got there. Is this shaker foam I see here as well? It is, but what I'm doing is really going to go to town on the actual shaker elements. So what I'm doing is I'm doing two layers, making sure every single layer is nicely secured up to the edge. And the reason I'm going quite high with this is we are still actually going to be creating a scene in the center part here with the little dividers. So what we can do is we can then finish this one off. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh. Still a tiny little gap, so let's make it easier for myself. Let's trim quite a bit off. Susie T said, Joe, Craig's name is the hottie Scotty. What more do you want than that? There you go. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Never is it the Scotty hottie or is it the hottie Scotty? I, That's I what don't I don't know. know. I really don't know. Because we have it spelt both ways. I mean, it's obviously a compliment, Craig. It is. Uh, but I just, I, mean, I just want to make sure we get it right. It's a, a, it's a very big compliment. The one that I really appreciate. Uh, Aisha's very sad. She didn't realise that there was no Craig next week. No. Hey, you've got Debbie next week. Debbie Robinson. You have indeed. I'll be up with... I'm going to be uh, here on Wake Up Call with Jan next Friday. Yeah, she's on the well. Friday, Jan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's like... You remember when... Um, Phil and Holly used to do, uh, well, do Monday to Thursday, and then uh, Eamon and Ruth pop in at the, on the Friday. Yeah. That's what me and, me and Jan are basically the Eamon and Ruth the of uh, wake-up call now. That's how it goes. We're talking about hosts uh, on a very popular uh, daytime TV show here in the UK called This Morning. Craig's never seen it before, I don't think. It's very, no, feels very indifferent never. about it. Never seen it's, it. It's like his, don't know what you're on about. It's his favourite show. Love it. Is it your favourite show? Well, actual favourite? My, uh, no, it's not my actual favourite. But it's funny you saying that. See, ever since Wake Up Calls changed to midday here in the UK, I never see it. Oh. I never You're see it. You're in competition, it. that's why. That's what it is. It's because uh, our ratings far exceed this morning's. Absolutely. I'm sure they do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will explain what I've done here, Joe, because I've done things uh, a little bit different. So I am, I'm going to trim this and then once again, I will explain what I've done. So first of all, what I've done with my cardstock, created my aperture and I've popped some of our acetate on the back here and then two layers of our foam on a roll. Then what I've done, you could either use the little divider guide that you've got here. I've created my own here and then what I've done is I've made sure that my strips are going to fit in between the two shaker foam on the left and the right. So this one here, in case anyone wants to know, is three and three quarters. So three and three quarters by two inches. This one is three and three quarters by an inch and a half. 
So then what I'm going to do is let's take the foam off here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down quite far. I'm not going to press it hard at the moment. I want to make sure it's looking okay. So that's fine. We've got a line going here. And then what I'm going to do is press that one here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. So let's take the backing off here. So if I get this one off, I'm trying to see where we can go. There's that one. And then this one here, last but not least. So I'm going to do the same again. I'm not going to go right down to the bottom. I'm going to come maybe about a quarter of an inch up or so. Okay. And then I'm going to press. Were these then, all different thicknesses, these panels, Craig? Remind me, or were they all the same size, these internal ones you put in? These ones here? Yeah, one the was inside. one and a half inch one was and one, one and was half, two inch. One was yeah. two inch, awesome. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to change it slightly. So before I really secure that, what I'm going to do, Joe, is freehand. I'm going to cut a wave by freehand. Then I'm going to come in, I'm going to pop that back in there before I... There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of nice. happy with how that's looking there. But I'm going to let's move it down slightly so we don't see the foam on a roll. There we go. Happy with that. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. So let's press that. Foam now, before we assemble it all, let's do some stamping and cutting. Awesome. Uh, very, very busy uh, for holidays. So another order place. I was 10 points short of four times platinum last week. I have blown way through that. We still have the warehouse sale on Sunday. Oh, you've said <gasps> too much for holidays. You have said too much. Uh, I do need to let you know, I will be here live at 9 a.m. UK time this Saturday. I know. What? How on earth am I going to manage to get out of bed at 7 a.m., Craig? Tomorrow. How am I going to do it on uh, Sunday? Sorry, not. Su I mean, the chances of me getting here on time on Sunday, when I, if I'm saying I've got to be here tomorrow, slim to none at this rate. You can't rate. even be here on time on normal days. Never I'm mind. I'm always here on time. I'm, I'm winding you up. Um, Joe's like me. You're here like way earlier Joe, than you Craig, need to be. Craig, I have a. I hate hate being late for things whether it's plans yep. with friends if i've said we're going to do something at you know 4 I'm, I'm 15 there, yeah. i am there bang on time usually That's and it me. really winds me up if i'm late for stuff anyway uh, we digress sunday morning mark your calendars 9 a.m uk time that is 4 a.m east coast time 1 a.m west coast time uh, it will be a live second chance sunday for you we are having it earlier because as you will have seen on our social media, there is a US warehouse clearance happening uh, in the evening. That's happening from 8 p.m. till 11 p.m. in the UK. That will then mean it's, uh, what, 3 p.m. Eastern time, midday West Coast time is when that will be happening. Uh, and that's a three-hour show. Uh, I know we uh, previously had pre-recorded uh, the later show on those days, but we think it'd be lovely to have a little earlier show for you on a Sunday, which will be lovely. So you can wake up with us here in the UK on Crafters TV, which I think will be brilliant. That's uh, and be I am good. up with Debbie Robinson. Robinson, I believe, for that. So that'll be fun. Well, that's going to be fun on a Sunday morning. I don't know if Debbie's morning. a morning person, do you? I, 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 I don't out. think she is. No, I think she's like me, a sleeping beauty. And needs her coffee, first of all. She really, really does. I'm sure she'll be on form and we'll have a lot of fun. Uh, then uh, it will be... Now, hang on, is it this Sunday you're presenting... Is that this Sunday? You what? presenting Soft Side of Life, or I've made that up? You've totally made that up. Hmm... I'm not presenting anything. You didn't present it. Okay. No. I thought you'd presented uh, this Sunday's. No. Um, I don't know. don't know where I got that from. Ignore is this me. the pre-recorded one? Yeah. Uh, this is the one originally that asked if I would do it, but Ben stayed back. Ah, ben was so on ben, one day. Ben's and then, done it. So what done okay. is ben, has said, ben stayed back. This was last week. He came back here in the morning, done a pre-record with Benny. Oh. But Benny. As Ben and Bernie mixed together. Uh, Benny, that's what we'll call them now. Uh, yes, so that'll be going out at midday. That was pre-recorded. That will be on Sunday as well. And uh, then there will be a live 3 p.m. till 5 p.m. show. That will be with um, Rebecca, Becky. And uh, then I will be up later in the day for the warehouse clearance. Gosh, Craig, it's a good job we don't move this schedule around too much, isn't it? I, know. I don't know how we keep up. Um, demo. Uh, Anne says, I'm so curious about what's happening here. You are really creating uh, an air of mystery here with this, Craig. 
going complete, well, when I say completely off scale, not 100%, we're still following the concept of the box, but what we're doing is we're doing it slightly different and then we're going to create a shaker using the elements. However, it's going to be on the front of a card. So I thought it would be nice when it comes to the launch day to show you maybe a couple of different ways as well. Of course, you can then follow suit and do what I've done with the first demo, the way that's intended. But let's show you a few other different ways as well. Really maximise the amount of things that you can do with it. But using it's very sassy, this unicorn, isn't it? She is, isn't she? It could be a he. Oh. Uh, sassy um, unicorn. But using my brush. What colour are you using here, Craig? So this one that I'm using is the pale pink blend, but I'm not using the deep tone. What okay. I'm doing is I'm only using the light and the medium. Okay. So you don't have to use all three if you don't want to. If you only want to maybe use the one colour, you might only want to go in straight with one colour. You can do. Or if you do want to come along and do blending with two colours, you can. Or go the whole hog and do all three. Entirely up to yourself. And that's the good thing. You get to do it your way, as Frank Sinatra would say. And then I'm going to go in with another couple. Let's go in with pink, violet, and ooh, decision, decision. Let's, let's go in with magenta Okey for this doke. one. And finish off. Are you, uh, my case is kite. My box has fallen apart. Oh, no. Oh, you no, sort no, it. no, no, no. You need to get yourself a new organiser on the website. I do, Craig. actually, don't I? That's exactly what you need. I do. I need to get something like that. That will make it really handy to have if I've got them organised. I've got all my other tri blends and all that in their wallet cases, just not my brush ones. You'll have to treat yourself. I will do. I think I've treated myself enough from our website lately. Have you? Ordered another load of foam pads after the five I bought yesterday. Was it yesterday I bought them or the day before? No, it was yesterday I bought them. Five, I did quick math, didn't I, yesterday, and now I can't remember what it was. I think it was, was it 5,600 you, you bought, or something like that, foam something pads like in that, total? Wasn't it? Yeah. Keep me going a, a wee while. We'll see how long. The rate that I use them. These pens, Craig, that you're using here, I mean, they have been literally the hottest ticket item, I think, this week uh, so far here on Crafters TV. Yesterday in our cartload show, Craig, where we showcased them, hundreds of them went, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, there are a lot less of them available now than there was at the beginning of yesterday, is what I would say. What is it about these that is so amazing? Why are these so fantastic? And also, if someone had their original tri-blend markers, are these going to be something that are kind of going to complement that original tri-blend range? Oh, yeah. They will complement really well because what your tri-blend brush markers are, first and foremost, if you are familiar with the tri-blend range, which many of you will be, it's the tri-blend concept. So you have got, for instance, the magenta here. You've got the dark shade on one side, you've got the medium in the middle, and then you've got the light on the other side. However, with these ones, these are our illustrator effect pens, but in tri-blend. So okay. if you love to do all of the, the movement from the hair, from the bushes, maybe the fur on animals like the teddy bear that you would do when it comes to the illustrators, then you can do exactly the same with the tri-blend brush, uh, get exactly the same effect, style and look like you would with the illustrators. You've just got them in the tri-blend form. So reduces the amount of space that you need for storing and they're nice and handy if you do want to take out, you know, if you're doing uh, crafting on the go then obviously it's a lot less to take and more craftable. Yeah, absolutely. Really gorgeous. And the colours, I mean, all of the, I think it's very easy for us to think about Spectrum Noir Craig, and we know how great it is, don't we? But you really are getting artist quality uh, at craft prices, which is fantastic. So, uh, and also proprietary ink formulations. Now that is a big long word that's taken me a long time to learn, Craig. It means that you will not find our ink in any other product out there globally. No. It's not like we just sort of went to a shelf, Craig, you know, in a, in a factory and picked it off and said, we'll take that one. This is something Spectrum Noir have developed. That's why it blends together so seamlessly, why the colors and the pigments are so incredible and vibrant. Uh, and it's what really makes them absolutely uh, amazing. 
amazing. One of the most recent launches in the Spectrum Noir range as well, the brush markers. So it's amazing that we've been able to get you a 30% discount on them. And very rare, especially with 24 pieces, Craig, to get a whole collection of something mm -hmm. for what, less than £45, less than $70 as a Club uh, Inspire member. This is like the deal. If you've been waiting for a knockout killer deal on these, this is it. I don't imagine we'll ever discount these uh, lower than this. So if you've been thinking about them, do get them. Uh, I don't think we'll be seeing them through the weekend as was planned. Joe, I never thought I would see them discounted past the, the last discount that we had. Absolutely. That was a crack in... Well, sometimes, occasionally, if we're doing a really special offer, we give you a 20% discount on these. To be completely honest with you, we have never before, and don't know that we ever will again, give you a 30% discount that you've got at the moment. No, I know, eh? Just... It is phenomenal. There's no other words than phenomenal when it comes to, uh, certainly, the tri-blend brush. Well, we take this one out. And then what we can do now is we can start to assemble this. So I've done this unicorn here. Well, look, it's that unicorn, even the effect. So even that effect there, Joe, with only doing the shading with two colours. That's not with three colours. Mm. You know, I've just used the light and the medium from each of the colour tones that I've used. Still looks lovely. So let's bring this one in. Let's bring our card topper in. Going to bring in a few of these ones that we've done before. All of these coloured in on wedding oh i think i've done some wednesday night some on tuesday night with the brush markers so i've got all of these in here so what i'm going to do is let's take some of these so i'm going to bring in the unicorn here and i'm going to add my tape on the bottom and then i'm going to start to tuck so if i bring this one in here i'm going to press that into place let's come in with our gorgeous little fairy and with the fairy what i'm going to do is tuck her down into there so we can see her sitting there then what i'm also going to do is i'm going to tape this to my card blank first of all so we can go around and then we're going to pop this one here do you know what i find with this collection as well joe it's I'm not going to say forced me, but it's made me make smaller cards. Okay. Which has been really nice, because I do like my big cards. You like, you're an 8x8 eight eight man, aren't you? I am, yeah. I'm an 8x8 eight eight card guy. And this has really has enabled me, with ease, to make really nice small cards. And it's, it's a funny thing to say, but sometimes it's actually, for me anyway, that always likes doing large cards, it can be difficult to change your mindset and make smaller. Vice versa, if you're used to making smaller cards, it can be hard sometimes to go large. So it's been nice for me to uh, do, do it in this way. But what I've done here is I've layered these ones up. Now, I'm not worrying about this bit here because I'm away to layer some on this top front. But what I'm going to do is I've got some sequins here. So I've got some pastel metallic sequins. I'm going to pop that one into my card blank there. And then I've got a few bits that's fallen out, so let's pop them ones on. If I bring these ones in, I'm making sure that I've got everything that I need, which I have. So I'm going to take my backing off now. I know it's all nice and secured against the edges from each other. And of course, all the workings on the back, you're not going to see them. It's going to be well hidden. So let's take this last few get a hold of that see I don't have problems with foam pads but I have issues with foam on a roll here we go let's pop this one in there I'm going to press, press just to let everyone know there's less than a hundred of that mystery bag left Craig how much less than a hundred of them <sighs> wow hmm and a lot of people shopping for it at the moment as well. If you did want to go and grab yours, you will need to go back to the earlier Wake Up Call show, where you will need to look forward uh, to the later Colour Me Happy show. Uh, and that is where you will find that mystery bag. I'd imagine it will go before the end of this show at this rate. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how quick that it's going already. This is just looks like magic. It looks like a magic fairy kingdom in here, Craig. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. actually. Yeah, fairy kingdom. That's a real, lot of fun creating this one. Yeah, really lovely. And just such a great opportunity to get so many, so much of your, um, so much of your uh, current stash involved as well, yeah. which is amazing. Um, 
imagine your pop-up boxes, if you start to use them and then use the actual working of the pop-up box with these cute characters, that would work an absolute yeah. treat. Would be absolutely uh, brilliant. Pulling uh, other elements of your stash. So because we do a lot of uh, sort of this sort of size, or not maybe this size, but comparable sizing dies. But you're going to be able to use those, these on those kind of formats, but also really mix and mingle uh, between the two. And what that does, Craig, is it gives you the most amount of craftability, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. you know, that's what we really talk about when we talk about uh, crafters companion products being designed by crafters for crafters. This is a prime, prime example of that. And it makes you think about what else you've got in your stash. What else can I use it for? And that's what I found as well. Although I've not used a lot of other crafty stuff because obviously I wanted to try and keep it as much worth what you get within the packet. But it did make me have a look through my stash to see, right, what else could I be using? Where else could I be using it? Some of these as little individuals, you could be using them on their own. I mean, even just, a l do you know what you could be doing as well? Remember uh, the other day on, doo -doo 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 -doo, was it? It was yesterday on Wake Up Call, I made the unicorn card using the hunky dory stamps that you I had. You did? You could do something very, very similar. For that background, for the one. foreground background. Foreground yeah. background? Yeah. You know, but I mean, what you could have done is use that the background from yesterday, Craig, as you created it, and had that over the front of the actual card. Exactly. That's what I mean by the foreground background, the the matte foreground, the matte the foreground, foreground matte layer. Yeah. So that could have been that. So instead of this pattern, you could have used that cloud background that I created. Absolutely, you could have. Here are. And nice that you're getting the sentiments in here that are specific to each individual collection as well. So you know you've got something you're going to be able to use immediately. And also, Craig, because they are a little bit on the smaller side, brilliant that they're, they're sized correctly too. So you're not having to maybe dig around to try and find something that's uh, the right size. Yeah. We have some small sentiments in a range, but it's, it literally are words that are like love or hi or hello, which is great. But to actually have sentence sentiments you know having a ma have a magical day filled with glitter to have sentiments that are that small is now going to enable you to again do smaller cards but still have really nice readable sentiments on your cards and not just have to stick with a one word sentiment or even not one at all because you didn't have one that's going to be suitable for the card you're making but here we are, let's pop them in there. So let's see if I can get these ones. Teresa says, this card is coming out so cute. It really is. I love that. So we've got Do you know what every unicorn needs? What's that? It needs a sequin shaker in front of it. It does, doesn't it? It really does. I love the fact here as well, it's in a real illusion, this Craig. Some of it's on the outside, yep. some of it's on the inside. It really plays around uh, with your eye and creates so much interest. So there we go. So uh, a lot of the construction is along the style of what you would do when it comes to the centre of the box. But what we've done instead of doing a 3D box, we've done a shaker card instead, using the elements, using the aperture as well, just putting a completely different spin on it. Instead of having to open the box to look in, we're just getting that instant hit of the aperture, the shaker and all of these gorgeous magical uh, characters right on the front. Mm, absolutely, and not something that's really occasion specific, something in here that's going to encompass uh, a lot of different occasions that you might want to create things for. Right, I want to share with you again, again exactly what you are getting in here. So you've got three different stamp and die sets. This is your wonderful woodland box that you can see just here. And this is going to create for you this exact kind of concept uh, just here, which is amazing. As you can see, I really love the dimension uh, that you've got in each of those there brilliant absolutely love that the next one we've got for you is of course the little bears uh, these are cute brilliant for birthday cards this one and let's face it birthday cards the the one occasion we make the most amount of cards for what you've got in here is this really super duper cute it's like a little teddy bears picnic almost isn't it which i think is brilliant with your cake in there the balloons you've got the sentiments and as craig did you know craig did an aperture there nothing to stop you decorating Decorating uh, the outside up in the same way as you decorate the inside. This one here. Now this is your window. Uh, sorry, box filled with glitter. As you can see here, it's going to allow you to create these things. Such a sassy unicorn. 
I mean, if you're going to have a unicorn, have a sassy unicorn, I think, Craig. Absolutely. Uh, why not? So you've got that one in there for you as well. As well as that, remember, what you're then getting, of course, is the ink pad too. So you're going to get that quick dry ink pad in there also. It is an absolute stonker of a deal, this one, because you can get all of that for £25 or $35. For platinum members, that becomes £20 or $28. That is, of course, going to be uh, also uh, enabling you to get today's free gift throughout our Club Inspire members event. We are going to give you a free gift every single day when you spend over £10 or ten dollars today's is the all about you stamp really lovely big you stamp here i'm seeing the you heat emboss craig maybe then with the other sort of combination uh, or how you choose to put the rest okay. together stamped around it i think it's going to be really beautiful remember to grab those don't forget also because it is double points you are going to get of course double points on everything uh, you see on air here at crafters tv but across the whole crafters companion website too i need to let you know that the, uh, the mystery bag for the latest show, it has totally sold out and gone. It has gone. Congratulations if you got it. I will go through the bag for you at, during the 7 p.m. Colour Me Happy Show. I know we said we would, so we'll do that for you during the 7 p.m. Colour Me Happy Show. Make sure you tune in for that. Right, up next we're going to look at... We're going to look at the 3D foam collection, which is this one just here. Now, in here, what you're going to receive, you're going to get your small foam pads, which is awesome. You're going to get the large foam pads in there as well. And foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Uh, it's all in there for you, which is fantastic. Uh, 14 28 or 23 90 if you want to get your hands on those. We're going to look next at the textured card stocks. Now, this is great. There are two trios here, uh, very busy on both more so worried about the stock of the other one you've got a little bit more time to make your mind up on this one this is the everyday brights that you've got here a gorgeous color tone kind of something that is bright but it's not it's bright without being bold it is bright and vibrant but yet quite refined at the same time really like that one 180 gsm then we've got two of the 230 gsms for you 36 sheets in each of these this has got a very very fine linen texture to it which i think is absolutely gorgeous so make sure you snap that one up again a really lovely pop of colors there in your pastels then this one here this is your bright 230 gsm 12 by 12 and a really lovely array of different colors in here this has got a color core as well uh, those two textured ones just there now not only that collection there is another collection however this next one it is limited stock you'll need to be quick for it and this is your farmhouse collection uh, textured cardstock 30 sheets in this one again it has got uh, this has got a white core this collection but it does again have that very fine linen texture which is good i love that baby pink in there and that beautiful apple green we then have here as well uh the woodland friend collection which is that one just there uh and again you can use these brilliantly with the um with the collections and i happen there craig a bit of a brain fart went completely blank uh it uh you can use it with the collections it was designed and intended for but it'll work great as a stash builder for whatever you're going for the one that's super low stock within this bundle is this one here the sunflower tones 230 gsm a beautiful uh vibrant collection really love all those wonderful verdant greens through to the dark greens in there 39 pounds or 49 dollars 31 20 or 39 20 for club inspire platinum members just thinking about the value there because these should be $22.99 each. So Platinum members are paying for one plus another, what, seven, eight pounds to get all of them. It will go, I think, it is limited stock. Now, talking about things that must end and will go, you've only got two more days after today. Get your hands on this week's Get It, Got It Good. Ooh, yeah. This is, of course, a wonderful six piece uh, buddy bag collection from Totally Tiffany. Uh, and what you, of course, are going to get in here is all of your different uh, bags. So you've got six, six different ones in here. So you've got Sue, Barbara, Terry, Monica, Lisa, and Sarah all in there 
for you, which is brilliant. Uh, hook and loop technology, handles on there, all clear and see through. They all store into your um, lowest tote as well, which is fantastic. So you know that uh, you're going to be able to move all those around. Brilliant for all your different crafty things you want to put in there, but also wonderful for a whole host of different jobs around the house. They make great drawer organizers. They are wonderful on shelves as well. Uh, Hannah Hicks said, I'm never going to be able to get foam on a roll out of my head. That's it. I mean, I haven't even heard Ben sing it personally, yet it's already in there. I am totally affected by it. Just want to mention again the tri blends for you uh, because they are absolutely flying out at the moment. They really are a hot deal at the moment. And what you've got in here is, remember, three. I'm actually going to take all the lids off. I never do this, Craig. Uh, I know, and then I've got to try and put them all back together again. What you actually get is three pens in each one of these. Does that go into there? It does, yeah. Uh, three pens in each pen, or in each piece, and what it does is it gives you uh, the same colour, but in the three different tones, which is awesome. What's great about these ones is you've got that beautiful soft uh, brush nib on there, so you can get texture, you can do those flicks, you can really get a lot of dimension of shading with them. These are all the colours that you will receive in there. So what you can see here on these uh, uh, triangles is that you've got three different colors within each one so from the darkest shade out to the lightest shade you've got your oranges uh, your greens your blues in there then through to the purples uh, the pinks the browns the greys in there as well 44.79 or 67.17 anyone that's been shopping with us for a while here at crafters tv or crafts companion will know how incredibly special this deal is if you're new to us I mean, don't think you can come back in a couple of weeks and you're gonna be able to pick these up anywhere near this price because $79.99 or $119.95 is what they are worth and they are worth every single penny of that price. They are incredible quality. Uh, we, these were uh, one of the busiest items of the day yesterday. We have a lot left, a lot of, I'll try that again. We have a lot. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to me today. Honestly, I, I'm going to blame the heat. It's very warm. Uh, we have a lot less of these left than we sold yesterday, is what I'll say. And we haven't even got to our weekly destination colouring show, which is, of course, Colour Me Happy. That's happening at 7 p.m. this evening here in the UK, 2 p.m. across on the East Coast. The, the mystery bag's already sold out and gone. I think these could go the same way. Talking of amazing deals and how we don't do things very often, this. I mean, uh, when it comes to Hero Tools, None really get up there more so in heroicness, Craig, than this. What you're going to get in here is you are essentially paying for the machine. We're giving you a hundred pounds. We're actually giving you uh, 116 pounds worth or 149 dollars worth of freebies included there with that. It is an amazing deal. You're also going to get double points and a hundred bonus points which is incredible. Platinum members, you're basically, if you were to think about paying for the, the, the freebies, you get the machine for £11.99. It is an amazing machine. What is it about this, Craig, that people love so much? Because I know a, the original Gemini, the A4 uh, plate size was the original one we did. We then brought out the Junior, and pretty much everyone that had the original Gemini they then came and got the Junior. What is it about this machine that people love so much? That's exactly what I've done. That's what yep. I've done as well. Even before I started working here, I had the large Gemini that I bought myself. And then as soon as the Junior came out, i done exactly the same. I bought that one as well. Uh, straight away, I think what everyone loves the fact of about the Junior is the size. Now, a lot of the die cutting that I do as well as my embossing, and probably like yourself, will go through the Junior. If you were to actually have an in-depth look at all of your dies that you've got at home, you will find majority of them will go through your smaller machines, your A5 platform, your junior. So then that cuts down on one, space, because of the footprint, it's smaller. And then also two, it cuts down on the time because it's quicker to go through. Now, first and foremost, I'm not by any way knocking our original Gemini because I use that as well when I have my bigger dies or bigger stencils that I want to use. But when it comes down to time, when it comes to the majority of the crafting that I do, it goes through my junior. It means then I've got it sitting at the side of me all the time. I just go all the way through with my plates. It's still got the pause and reverse function as well, uh, the play button and the power button. There is nothing different when it comes to the working, the mechanical side of it, the buttons, nothing different from the original Gemini. The pressure is still exactly the same. Everything is exactly the same. The only thing that's different, of course, is the size. But then you can still do your die cutting. You can still do 
your embossing folders as well. Of course, if you are, maybe you've got the original Gemini and you've got the foil press, you'll need the extender plate. No problem whatsoever with that one, but at least with the junior, you don't need to worry about extender plates or anything like that. It works in par uh, parallel with the foil press and it can just go straight through. Um, as I say, and I'm always open with it in the fact of if I do need to use my large Gemini, all I do is I just swap it over for all the seconds that it takes. Mine's just sits on the shelf at the side of me in my craft room. So what I do is just bring it in, do the die cutting that I need to do, and then hook up my junior again. You know, for me, because I use this most of the time, or my dies will go through the smaller plates most of the time, just as well having this at the side of me. I know I sound like a parrot when I say I've got my Gemini Junior at home that sits on the right hand side of me, and then my MIDI slash my Mini as well just sits at the right sits at the left hand side of me and my junior sits at the right hand side of me so I've got each and all I just I, I love it and you Gemini know Gemini to the left of me junior to the right here, here I am, am crafting in the middle with of you. you I think that could be our next song that, that could, could be the be. next song crafting in the middle of you Sorry. Joe's to the left of me <laughs> Ben's to the right here I am crafting the <laughs> middle of you Oh, uh, holiday! <laughs> my, my eyes are not on the clock. My <laughs> eyes are not on Someone the clock. Someone is in holiday mode already. It's fair to say. If you want to get this, I know we're having a lot of fun this afternoon here on Crafters TV. But that is a phenomenal deal. If you've got the original, you've been thinking about getting the junior one now. Could be the time. Maybe you've got the MIDI. Maybe you've got uh, a, a manual machine at the moment, and you really want to experience all the ease of use, which comes with having an automatic machine. I haven't seen a better deal than this on the Gemini Junior. I would absolutely uh, snap this one up right now. Talking about the Junior, Pam Craven says this is the most fantastic bit deal. I bought one for my neighbour on Tuesday. All the free dies and embossing folders are new and not old stash, which is a really great point, Pam. Well worth it. I've been waiting for a while to get her the best deal and I really feel that this is it. Absolutely, and I think that echoes what we've said about a lot of these deals that are on during Members Week. We do save some of the biggest deals of the year for you for this very week. So if you are looking for a bargain, this is when you are going to find it. I just want to recap as well the details of the cute characters. Still very busy uh, there at the moment. Remember what you are getting included. So you are getting all three of those stamps and die sets in there, which is awesome. You're going to receive wonderful woodland box, uh, the birthday bears and the box filled with glitter plus that quick dry ink pad they are available individually but to be honest the value is so incredible when you get the whole collection and look at that platinum price to get a brand new collection of, every, of anything for 20 pounds or 28 dollars is exceptional value very busy still on that right do you think we've got time to squeeze one i think we get one more demo in craig definitely definitely we're going to do can i just quickly say as well with the gemini junior yeah it's not out there but you still get kind of like the little starter set that you would get normally. So you get a 3D embossing folder, you get create a card dies, you get mixed media dies and that as well, sentiment dies. So you get them still included even with the freebies and of course you get all the plates as well that you'd need. So you actually get more than what's on there. But what we are going to do is we're now going to have a look at the Woodland set here. What is wonderful Woodland and we're going to, uh, do you know something, we're actually going to go from a mix between the original concept that we've done in demo one and then demo two there with the, uh, the glitter box and we're going to pull them together and make a different style. So what I'm going to do here is I've taken our white smooth stamping card and I have cut this to five inches by 11. So it's five inches by 11 inches and I'm going to score at one and a half and then I'm going to score at three and then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to score at one and a half again and then at three so then what we can do is we can mountain valley fold and mountain valley fold but then what I've done is we've got our lovely square aperture within the middle I'm going to bring in a piece of patterned paper here. It's going to fit into the middle and this square, uh, uh, well, what will be that aperture? It works out as five by five. And this piece of patterned paper is just shy of five by five. So we're going to pop this one on. And then what we're going to do within the wonderful Woodland box set, you've got a different aperture shape. 
So this one can come into the middle here. So always pop your pattern paper on first before you die cut your aperture. You can do them separate, but that's going to make it very, very difficult to line up. So you're just as well doing both layers together. It's the Gemini you're going to be running it through. Most of you will be if you've not already got the Gemini. So you know but the pressure of the Gemini. It's going to cut through our white smooth stamping card and our pattern paper, no problem at all. And although this is a long card, what I'm going to do is we're going to pop it on our junior plates and same plate configuration. We're going to then carefully just feed this up because we've got a little bit of cardstock hanging over each edge. But once that goes through, that's then going to grab and then that'll obviously cut that aperture bit out. I'm not actually going to use this one. I'm going to use one that I've already cut because the one that I've already cut has got pattern paper that I actually prefer. And I did have a spare sheet and it seems to have disappeared somewhere. So this is what it's going to look like once I take the die off. So we've got the concept. If you fold these layers back, so this is how oh, it's going nice. to look like. However, Joe, this is the one I'm actually going to use because I like this pattern paper. So I say, I did have a piece, but uh, I'm not sure if it's fallen under the counter or what. But this is how it looks. So we're going to use that one. And then we need a back. So what I've done is I've got white smooth stamping card again, five inches from top to bottom, but it's eight inches. That's then going to be the back in for what will be our card box that we can see here. So then what we can do is I'm going to come along and I'm going to use our Nina cardstock and we're going to do a little bit of stamping and colouring. What I have also done is using the guides within each of these ones. So this one I have gone down with a little bit of a curve where I've traced it from this one. But what I've done is on this one, I've reversed it. So I've basically... Nice done it that way but flipped it over so now I've got the hill in the opposite like two side. two grassy knolls. It is isn't it? Yeah. I think a knoll is a hill isn't it? Knoll, knoll is isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Knoll with a K? Yeah. Not as an Edmunds? No. That's a different kind of knoll. I feel like we're gonna have to google exactly what knoll, tri what, exactly what knoll means now just what in case means. we've done something wrong. So let's go for our little deer. Let's go, which originally at first I was calling our squirrel. A small hill or mound. So you were right. There we are. You were right, yeah. I mean, public service broadcasting here on Crafters TV, Craig. You're spot on. Mm. Absolutely spot on. Uh, yeah, I'm taking what I was originally calling a squirrel, but you guys at home, which is a great thing with Facebook Lives, you corrected me. You're like, no, Craig, it's a little fox. It's a little fox? It's a little fox. I said it was a squirrel. See, I, I thought it was a squirrel. Yeah, me too. We agree on that one then. Squirrel. It's a little swirl. So it's a little swirl. 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 Squirrel. <laughs> it never gets less fun, Craig. Uh, Katie Henderson's oh so cute and fun, Craig. I don't know about you or the project, but you know, whatever. Uh, Barbara says, woohoo! The time went fast. It did. Time flies when you're having fun, Craig. It does. Really, really does. Today has absolutely flown by, isn't it? It has gone so, so quick. Usually I feel like we're all going to miss you. I feel like you might need to send us in like video diaries or something to, you know, wake up call or something like that. Or just personal ones to me so I can feel like I can check in with you, Craig, see how you're getting on. That's a good idea. You know, you know it something? will be the longest we've ever not seen each other for. It will be. be mm. just... Well, in, in, since I've worked here, obviously. Yeah. I never thought about little video diaries for wake up call, eh? Yeah. It's a good idea. Because uh, I, I will be popping on my Facebook and Insta. Absolutely. Pages. I'll be sharing some. Try and stop him. Well, by the rate I'm going, it's probably going to be sharing some pictures of uh, rainstorms. Oh. Hey ho. Oh, oh no, I thought you, sorry, I thought you were about to say a picture of the dog for a second then. Oh, there'll be plenty of pictures of the dog. Now remind me of the dog's name. Clemmy. Clemmy, that's Clemmy. it. Clemmy. Oh, you must be so excited to see her. I can't wait. How I've managed to wait till now. I don't know. Because mum and mum and me. John video called me two two weeks ago. So last weekend, I was so, so tempted. 
to actually drive home for the weekend. Mm. But I was on Colour Me Happy with you, so obviously it was late Friday night. I would have had to come back Sunday. So I've managed to resist not to go home. So yeah, we will see the gorgeous little puppy when I get home. And then of course my, my best friend's wee baby. I love that the puppy came first before the best friend's wee baby. <laughs> that, you busted there, Craig. Well, <laughs> to be fair, you, you brought up the puppy first. I mean, puppies over babies for me, any day. Oh. Without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, I don't, I don't know, I love babies and Oh puppies. no. Babies get better when they get to like toddler age. When you can do something I think that's, with them. yeah, when they start talking, they develop a bit of character. I think when they're newborns, yeah, they're cute. Uh, but not very functional. Uh, so whereas puppies, just big bundle, they're basically like toddlers from the start, which is amazing. True. Although so you know what will happen, I'm going to come back with scratch mark and bite marks all over my hand. From the dog? From, yes, yes, from yes of dog. course. Um, yeah, lots of people saying in the comments that they are going to miss Craig. I'm going to miss Craig. Uh, as well, but he's going to be celebrating. Are you going to be able to do? Are you going to be doing anything special for your birthday itself, Craig? You got any plans for the for Monday? We um, so me, my mum, my stepdad, and my brother. We're going out for a meal. Oh, nice! Uh, I think the rest of the day I will be seeing family and friends. Fabulous. It will be yeah. Because at least this time as well, by going home, I can well some more, more things we can do and visit and see you know a lot more things are open now than the last time i was home so it'll be nice it'll be nice just being home from my birthday yeah absolutely long walks along the beach oh definitely definitely it's always one of the first things i do whenever i get home uh, donna dembski says i just got these in the mail they are so cute they will be so much fun they are so much fun i can't wait to see what you guys Put together with these and also i think craig you know what the amount of um craftability these are going to give you with this new concept considering how affordable they are is absolutely amazing it really uh, really is yeah it's uh, the... because they're not really like anything we've done before are they craig no. with this sort of small box cards concept i would call it a box card myself i don't know about you rather than a box what do you think yeah box card yeah yeah because you've got that box feature but it does fall it has a fr it's a front doesn't it so yeah. it makes you feel like a card which is really interesting yeah so it's a really nice concept and i, I like the fact that because of the templates in the little booklet one it means that you're you're not tied to that specific size because of course you can make it any size you want by adding your measurements but then that's what's enabled the, the value to be so, so low, mm. which has been really beneficial for you guys. And a lot of love for these when I done my Facebook Live last night. So many of you loved these. And looking forward to the, live, uh, the shows today. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a jam-packed weekend coming up for you uh, here, of course, uh, on Crafters TV. Uh, as well color me happy coming your way uh, a little later today 7 p.m in the uk uh, which will be 2 p.m east coast time uh, and then i'm going to be playing my crafts right tomorrow i was just looking see to try and jog my memory as to who i was playing my crafts right with uh it is debbie robinson isn't it i thought it was is it it's a debbie it's a triple debbie day tomorrow i do believe <gasps> what a treat that will be That'll it's be debbie weekend pretty much fun. yes indeed uh eve says joe babies just love you then they get older and they become more difficult but still lovable oh okay they do they are full of love but puppies love you especially if you've got treats as well eve oh, is what yeah. i say if you've got treats then they love you a lot a bit of dried fish skin honestly there's plenty of that down in carnisty beach you love this outline don't you i love it love it i just think the effect that it gives you ice gray too and then it gets slightly lighter gives you a really nice outline and it doesn't take too long to do depending of course the size of the image that you're doing so all that i'm going to do is that one there joe and then i have already done these ones here so i've got the trees all of these still using the tri blend brush a little bit, I mean, look at the cute little bunny rabbit. So adorable. So adorable. We've got the tree trunk, the base of the tree trunk, 
toadstools, tiny little butterflies. And uh, another good reason to have the tribe lens is because you've got that brush nib, because it's nice and flexible, but you've still got that pinpoint, then you can really get into all these little mm. bits. This is one uh, that I had done earlier, but remember in Wake Up Call, I added some of the glossy highlights oh, yes. to the eyes and to the tail. So if you look at the eyes, you can see how you've got that glossy look. And then same with the stag or the deer. So this is how it looks and in same color, but the glossy highlights over its eyes, down the front and its ears, actually its tail as well. So if I cut, there we go. And you see how you've oh, got- Oh yeah, very subtle, isn't it? It is, yeah. Can you layer it up? Could you come in and put another layer over that if you wanted to create maybe a more intense effect? You could do, yeah. If you want to make it higher, you could do I would, of course, let it completely dry before uh, you were to do that. But honestly, you'll find that one layer is more than enough. Because mm. you can obviously lay it on thicker than uh, a thin layer. You can do it either or. So you can control what you put yes. on, basically? Yeah. Okay, excellent. You've got full control of what you put on. Uh, you know, it may be obvious to say, but obviously the more you put on, the longer it'll take to dry. But in saying that, you know, it doesn't take overly long. Now, what I'm going to do here is I am going to assemble this front and back first. So this is the way that I like to do these. Because I'm going to add a piece of pattern background to the back, which is blue. And then I'm going to add these panels in. If you do want to do the panels now, before you pop it on the back, by all means. But as I say, it's the way that I like to do it. So we're going to come in there and then there. And then what we can do is if we come in from the staycation, this one here, I'm going to slot this one down into there. I'm going to line it up. This one I have cut to five by five as well. And then what we can do, Joe, is if I take these two little dividers for this one, I'm just going to use my tape runner for speed. So let's put our tape on there and then there. I'm going to position them where I want them to go. But although I'm using pattern paper here, this could be maybe your inky backgrounds that you've done. Maybe you want to then, of course, come along and then add in your... Um oh, no, that didn't work. What have I done? What have you done, Craig? Oh, I've cut them too short, look. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right. Oh, look no, 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 so, no, no. So, plan B. Let's take that. Let's just double check. So, that is... So, yeah, so it's five. So, I've cut off my full tabs there, which I shouldn't have done. What a silly Billy I am. What a silly Billy what you are, indeed. A silly, uh, silly, silly... Belly. Eve says, did you say dried fish skin? Yeah, dogs love dried fish skin. You can buy it as a little treat, can't you? Little packets and give it to them. Yeah. They go absolutely, uh, they love it. They really, really love it. Uh, when I used to live with Maggie, who was a French bulldog, uh, with my old housemate Stacey, she was her dog. Uh, when I was sort of dieting, I'd always have salmon in the evening, Craig, for dinner, as I do actually at the moment quite a lot. Uh, and I'd always feed my fish skin bit by bit to Maggie as I was eating my dinner. And uh, me and Maggie, uh, I don't eat the skin on salmon, no, I'd always take it off. Me and Maggie became like uh, best friends over those few months. But and every day I'd come in, I'd start making my dinner, and she would even like, she'd sort of get herself sat down next to the dining table ready whilst I was sitting in the kitchen because she knew what was coming, Craig. That's how you win them over, you see, Craig. Is. Loads of treats. Yeah, that is. Give them treats, give them love, and that's all that you need. Absolutely. The same can be said for many people in life. That's true. Yeah, that's true. For me, just give me a can of Coke, Yankee Candle, and a can of Coke. Pat my head, and I'm <laughs> anyone's. Maybe a uh, bit of white chocolate. Yeah, maybe a little bit of chocolate. Uh, did you did you have the um, Hershey's little white chocolate things that were at the back? No. 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 Why not? Because it had milk chocolate on it in it. No, no, they were white chocolate. Was that pure white chocolate? It was white chocolate. There was no milk chocolate. There was whatsoever. no milk chocolate in it. It was all white chocolate with little like hundreds and thousands pieces in them. The tiny, the tiny little like drop ones. Oh, I thought they had. Milk I think chocolate. they were called Rat Hershey's. Random. Hershey's Kisses were they something like that? Oh no, they were white chocolate. Those ones, Craig. Oh man. Oh no 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 no. I thought I knew there were 
I knew they were white chocolate, but I thought they had milk chocolate, you know, wrapped around them. No, white chocolate. Because uh, my, my grat, who's no longer here now, she used to always leave me our, the white chocolate biscuits, mm -hmm. but had the milk chocolate coating. And oh. so it was like a biscuit, but it had white chocolate around it, but then it was coated in milk chocolate. She'd oh. always say, I've left you the white chocolate ones. I'm like, thanks, Gran, but... Did she lick the milk chocolate off? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no. I thought you meant they were white chocolate and then they had milk chocolate around them. So therefore, I thought you meant she'd like lick the milk no, chocolate. There you go, no. I left you the white chocolate one. No, she kept meaning that I would like them because there was white chocolate in it. But it was like, thanks, Graham, but no, because there's milk chocolate. I don't like milk chocolate. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm glad we cleared that up, Craig. Yeah, uh, now, did. Do you, uh, we need to do demo of the show, Craig. We'll, we'll wait it. for you to finish this one and then yeah. we'll do it. It's going to be a quick one. So fastest fingers uh, first, which is awesome. Gloria is asking, how long is the base on that card, Craig? So the same as um, uh, the original one, five inches. Okay. So I've cut that to five. So the only difference with this one, unlike what I was going to do, is obviously I've got no uh, white grass because I've had to kind of quickly redo it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, exactly the same. Five, so the main base is five inches. In total, I cut that strip to six inches, I scored at half an inch, and then I've scored at half an inch as well. Brilliant. And that gives me the basis for the base. Excellent. Uh, the Hershey's hugs are the white chocolate ones, so that's what they must have been out there. They had a little message inside them that said, happy birthday, like a little piece of string that came out. Right, okay, so they'd be, did have the Hershey kisses, so that must have been what I'm getting mixed up ah, with. Uh, and I didn't so know they were Hers the hugs. The ones at the back were Hershey hugs. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm <laughs> still laughing about that earlier comment. Uh, very, very busy with moves to the end of the show. I'm going to recap uh, this whole collection for you in just a minute as well uh, and also give you a little bit of a heads up as to what is happening uh, for the rest of the day here and into tomorrow as well. Um, do you want me to just quickly run through the option? So I am. Uh, right, let me just quickly run you back through then the three different options that you've got there. Uh, so what you're going to be able to get, of course, is uh, the three different stamp and die sets, uh, which are these ones just here. So you're going to get the woodland collection in there with the gorgeous deers and the trees and the sentiments in there with, the, of course, the aperture that cuts that for you as well. You will also get the bears in there too, which are these ones here, the birthday bears with the balloons, which is brilliant, and all the sentiments. And you're going to get in there as well, uh, the glitter, uh, which is the one here with the toadstools, the um, butterflies, the unicorns, the fairy in there too, and all of the rest of the sentiments. Remember what you're also getting in there is that quick dry ink pad as well. And all of that for platinum members, 20 pounds or $28 is your price. Um, right, the tri-blend brush pens as well uh, are these ones just here. So 24 pieces. Uh, is what you are going to receive in here. Of course, with that lovely soft brush nib, which is what you've seen Craig use throughout this show. The biggest discount we've ever done on these. Uh, so uh, do grab them. Uh, and what you're getting, a full collection there for that price, uh, all the colors that you could need for a whole different, uh, whole different plethora uh, of different coloring. But how are you getting on over there, Craig? Fine, just assembling all these last little bits here. I'm going in with Let's do, so let's do the toadstool there as well. I'm going to bring in this flower. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it so it's just peeping out towards the back. So I'm really going quite small here. I'm going to tuck this in. Let's use my fingers. Tuck it in. I'm going to come down to this bottom bit. So we're getting a lot of dimension into this one. Let's go in with, let's do our tape runner here with the butterfly and then I would come along I must have dropped that bit of paper and the sentiment because it's disappeared oh well we'll need to just yeah this is real I love how sort of full and lush this one looks and that's it and that's how I want to end this one the last one Joe is a really full on dimensional one now if you've got maybe a sun stamp or maybe your sentiment you know lots of different ways that you can then start to do the background right in the background but then what you've got is you've got the depth there that we can see so it does still fold relatively flat 
but you can see that you're looking into there, using the images in lots of different ways. So even that back one right here is if our little staggered deer is peeping from behind the little tree there. We've got a nice little uh, clan of the woodland animals all coming together. So a lot of fun. Loads and loads of fun. Really uh, love them. Going to give you the details again uh, for that brand new launch, of course. £25 or $35. Right, time to vote for the card of the show, Craig. Uh, so what are our options? So we done number one, which was the main concept and how it is uh, then constructed, the way it should be. So number one. Number two, we done our shaker element here. So it's kind of still the way it should be designed. However, what we've done is we've popped it on the front and used a shaker. And then number three, kind of a mix between demo one and two and created a box frame sticking out from the front. And that one there is number three. Uh, one, two or three, get your votes in Crafters TV across on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you are across on YouTube as well. Get those votes in. Want to go back to, uh, again, uh, and just reiterate the incredible value on that Gemini Junior deal. I know a lot of you maybe have got an original Gemini are, are uh, going for a Junior as well, just for that speed, for having that compact machine. Maybe you've got a manual machine at the moment, you want to experience the ease of use of an automatic uh, electric machine then this really is the deal for you uh, you've got so much within here uh, you're getting a hundred pounds of goodies you're actually getting more than that you're getting 116 pounds or 149 dollars worth of product uh, product within here so really you take that off I mean it's it's kind of the value of the machine uh, is what you are getting. It's just an amazing deal. If you've been waiting for a special deal on this, then this is it. As Pam Craven was saying earlier, let me just tell you what Pam said. Where was her comment? So this is the most fantastic deal. I bought one for my neighbour on Tuesday. All the free dyes and embossing folders are new and not old stash. Well worth it. I've been waiting for a while to get her the best deal and this is it. Absolutely, it is Craig. What if you say, anyone maybe that, maybe some people are shopping with us here at Crafters TV, Craig, that are using other brands of die cutting machines out there, whether they're electric or manual, what difference does owning a Gemini make? The thing with ours as well is obviously it's all about the pressure. Sarah said herself she cannot, you know, between her and her dad and obviously the team when we come to do the Gemini range, cannot get any more power within our ranges. They are absolutely full of pressure. So therefore, whether you are going to be just doing maybe your vellum, maybe your acetate, then maybe you're going to go on, you're going to start to use your real uh, leathers, your thick leathers, maybe you're going to be doing your fabrics, your, any of your soft craft that you want to do as well, pliques, everything like that, you can 100% do that with our Gemini Junior. The size is just fantastic, not forgetting the fact that with it being the Junior, it's for the Gemini, it's still got that pause and reverse function. It's one of those that if you were to quickly scan through your die collection, whether it's ours, whether it's any brand out there, then do wafer thin dies, you will see that so many of yours will actually fit onto an A5 platform. So therefore it's going to go through the Junior as well. So one saves a little bit of space because it's slightly smaller, but it'll also save a little bit of time because it's about nine, eight, nine seconds it takes to go from start to finish. That's if you don't do the pause and reverse. Mm, it is an incredible machine, unparalleled pressure, you know, it really has transformed the way a lot of uh, crafters are crafting out there. And the great thing is you're going to get double points on this, you're going to get that massive discount, you're going to get 100 bonus points, you'll get that free gift included as well. It is a phenomenal deal. The card of the show is number two, Craig. Number two, the pink one. Yeah, no surprise there, absolutely gorgeous project that one. There we go. There we are. Right, Craig. We're all going to miss you. Have a wonderful holiday, won't you? Make sure you call, you know, check in, let us know you're all right. Keep us posted on social media, yeah? Uh, oh, don't you worry, I sure will be. There'll be pictures still on my Facebook and my social media. And thank you for not only uh, the holiday wishes, but then all of the uh, early birthday wishes as well. Much appreciated on Facebook last night, so thank you very much. But yeah, you'll still see on social media, but then I'll be back here on Wake Up Call. That's going to be on Tuesday, Tuesday the 29th of June, I'm going to be back here and you know what, we're going to go full pelt into, I don't know, we might go into a bit of Christmas season maybe, mm. who knows? Ooh, mystical.
Uh, yes, of course, it'll be, uh, enjoy your break, Craig. I won't see you until like the 5th of July or something, bonkers, Craig, no. uh, Craig because, uh, yeah, our shifts don't work out. So enjoy the break. Have a brilliant birthday as well. Make sure you check out the baskets uh, on, of course, that brand new launch and this uh, Gemini Junior deal. Uh, it is a really fantastic deal. What I'd also say is make sure you come and join myself and Sarah. She's back with us for Colour Me Happy, our weekly destination colouring show. That's at 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. on the East Coast. The mystery bag has sold out, but I will go through uh, all the contents of it for you, for the hundreds of you that managed to get your hands on it uh, so far today. Do what you need to do wherever you are. Go and get some dinner as we're going to do, some lunch uh, or whatever it is that you need to do because uh, we've got a really another great show coming back as well. Craig is all, Craig's already, are you, is he just, oh, okay. Bye. See ya. <laughs> that didn't, <laughs> he, he's off. He's on the road. Uh, uh, yes, I'll see you, <laughs> see you back here in a couple of hours. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.